Hi, people. So today we are going to apply for Save the Children's Opportunity for agricultural businesses. So all you have to do is come to your search bar and type Save the Children. So after doing that, press enter. And it's going to be the first when the website loads, just go to news and stories. And it's the first, you got open call for funding applications. So there's this open call for Ugandan businesses that are in nutrition for children. It's health and nutrition for children. So it can be health or nutrition for children. So you look. You read the eligibility. First of all, you should be a uh, registered for profit business. You should offer products or services for health and nutrition, which benefit children. You should clearly demonstrate how the business and the loan will positively impact children. You should be legally registered in Uganda. You should be a, a local business with operations based in Uganda and products or services accessed by communities in Uganda. You should operate in the areas of improving health and nutrition of children. And lastly, you should have evidence of at least one year of consistent revenues. In case you have more information, you can write to the email that you're seeing there. So what they're going to give are low interest loans or recoverable grants and wrap around services for innovations or social businesses in health and nutrition for children. So you'll come here and read more for yourself. Uh, and finally, when you're ready to apply, you can come to this link here, this very one here. Let me open it and see where it takes us to. The deadline is 13th November. That's about six days from now. So this is the call. This is the application link. Ah, so you check what kind of business you have. Of course, it's a, it's the opportunity is only for for profit businesses. So it must be a for profit business to apply. So you check for profit. You type the name of your business. For example, Carlo. Can you type the date your business was expired? For example, was this published? For example, second January. 1998. Okay, that's just an example, but it can even be a business of 2020. So, location of the business could be number of employees can be 500, maybe 10, doesn't matter. When you put your email, oops. when you put your phone number, Put your website if you have, or you can put your Facebook profile. Put your website if you have. Then you put your the business owner's name. Maybe it's Carlo. Email, education qualification, maybe bachelor. What is your innovation? Maybe, maybe yes. Certification. 
for their three lines. Is your product or service within the health and nutrition scope? Of course, you are sick, not you're not going to get the money. Describe the product or service offered by the business. Maximum 150 words. So if you say maybe. Packaging of 45. If you need more knowledge on how to apply, you can contact me in the comments. Describe the problem that your product or service tries to solve. So, for example, for the millet, it could be nutrition. No nutrition. Amount to bring. So, you have to explain in detail. If you need more help, just comment and I'll help you. In detail, what is your innovation or solution? So, maybe for the fortification. Your innovation could be that you're 45. Describe the target market or community served by the business. So they are going to buy. So to get back to adults, so maybe 18 to 16 in Uganda, or maybe or 10 to depending on how the business is. Set your business mission or goal. Maybe two. Um, That's your value proposition. Why would customers choose your product? So for my case, for this example, I think someone would choose this product because uh, when you when you feed your child, your child is millet, millet flour, maybe for porridge. There's no need to maybe buy milk. When you feed your child, so tightly you complete it. So also this. This this business and nutrition. But this is not how you make sure you put if it's maximum 250 words, make sure you put like a minimum of 150 words. How does your business contribute to health and nutrition? First and foremost, this is a plant-based based food. Healthier. Healthier. And sustain. Internet is quite slow, but I've recovered my progress. And I think you'll also face this problem if you're in Uganda <laughs> or if you have bad internet service providers. Like, uh, like it has been raining since morning, since 6 a.m. So the internet is really on and off, the power is on and off. So it's also affecting my internet connection. But yeah, I hope you get this finding through my guidance for personalized guidance just comment and we shall follow up from the chat of course it's not for free
as your business contribute to health and nutrition? Mm, we say the food is plant-based, so it's more healthy. And children you can't take milk products so if your business is helping them to get the nutrition but they would get if they were taking milk for a lactose intolerance so you explain you add more details about your business and how it contributes to health and nutrition so what type of financing have you received previously so if you put money from your pockets, you put your own saving. If you received a grant, you can select. If you received a loan for your business, you can select that too. If you received gifts, maybe from your parents, your partner to do your business, you can put. There's another form of financing you've got, maybe equity from investors, equity financing. You can also select and put it, you type here. It, But if you received all this funding, <laughs> why would a current funder prioritize you? So perhaps you should just select only a few. Yeah, unless your business is so good that they don't want to leave it out. But if you received lots of funding already, perhaps it would be harder for them to give you more money now. Unless you really had a lot of revenue generated from sales and you really need more money to expand. Do you have any existing loan? You can choose to say yes or no. Of course, whatever you put has its own consequence. But it, if you've received a loan before, it could also be a good thing. So it would help to show that you're really good at paying your loan. So select what works for you. What is the average number of customers per month in the last six months? Maybe a hundred. Rich customers in the next, but perhaps based on maybe the money you've been receiving from partners for growth, perhaps you see yourself doubling or tripling. So, the set is 100. This is your most recent new revenue. Maybe 13 is on your foundation. Projected a new revenue. So, we can double that figure. How much investment loan do you need? So, children, if you're projecting 60 million, we can double or triple that figure. So, perhaps we say an 80 million. Is what you need. Maybe you don't use the loan money to purchase equipment to stop all the manual labor. Okay, so equipment. For improving packaging, you can find other reasons. Or use it for the money, investing on your business plan that you wrote, if you have one. If you need help writing a business plan, comment in the comment section, business plan, and I'll create a video for that too. So what other ones would you, would you need the loan for? Maybe to improve, maybe the money can be for you. 
improve on how to ensure that the nutrients actually exist in the food that you're quantifying or the price that you're creating. Maybe you need more money to hire more support. Whatever is in your hand. What is your strategy for scaling your business? Um, there are many strategies that franchise maybe you're going to create a network. Um, what other strategies you can use to scale your business? There are so many strategies. Think about them and you have to describe them. And as you're seeing, the maximum is 200 words. So make sure you put at least 150 words. Explain how your business will be financially stable. It's already a for profit business, but how are you pricing? to be granted the loan, which as additional support do you expect? Um, select what applies to your business, maybe bookkeeping because you'll be getting more money, maybe networking to get more markets for your products because more money means more production. Hence, you might have more products stuck with you if you don't know how to market. Maybe you need technical assistance, for example, for the research, for nutrition, Maybe you need business advisory. Select what works for business. If there's something else, maybe export research. What that? Then you go to next. So put your business registration certificate. So you come and choose a document. I'm just choosing a dummy document. Income statement. These are not the real documents, but for your case, you have to put the real documents. Put your bank statement. Maybe you go to your bank and you ask them for a bank statement. They'll give it to you. And this is where they'll get you if you've not been telling the truth. So you go to next. How did you hear about the call? What's up? What's up? Maybe you put YouTube or what you put my channel. Maybe you got it from the news. Then you press submit. I'm not going to press submit because it's for learning purposes, but make sure you press submit to submit your application. With that, I wish you good luck in your application. Bye-bye. See you in my next videos. Make sure you like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on such opportunities.